Hello and welcome to the channel of the Travel Troll. Myself with Mazzy, my sidekick. Now, a lot of people keep mentioning, we're in a church, I think this is as good a place to announce it as anywhere. People keep saying, what is it with you and Mazzy? Is there anything going on there? There is, there is. Um, I've very, very kindly let Mazzy <coughs> become my girlfriend. So congratulations. Um, she's been my girlfriend for a couple of weeks now, since day three of this trip. And Mazzy's coming with me on the entire trip, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to get a camper van, and we're just going to travel for ten years and live in a van. What a prospect you've got, honestly. Ten years with me in a van. You ain't recording this, are you? I am recording this. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> right. Today, I've brought you to... Sally, uh, Saul, that's how it's pronounced, S-A-L-L-E. Uh, Saul, St. Peter and St. Paul Church in Reapham. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Don't be so shy. Don't worry. They'll be kind to us, they won't pick on us. I'm just sick of all the comments. Ooh, Mazzy's great, Mazzy this, Mazzy that. Ooh, Mazzy, ooh, yeah. Dan, Dan's all right, but it's better with Mazzy. Ooh, you've got to take Mazzy with you. It's just and Mazzy, Mazzy, Mazzy. So I'm, I'm telling you... Yeah, I'm letting her be my girlfriend and she's coming with me, so I don't want any more comments about Mazzy. It's all about me again now. Right, uh, we're in this church. What do you think of this church? It's beautiful. It is amazing. Yeah. Now, on the first line of my notes, it actually says, the finest historic church in Norfolk yeah. and one of the best in Britain. I can see why. Yeah. I can see why. Got a lot of history to it. Let me tell you all about it. How old do you think the church is? When was it built? 1200. 12, it was actually 1400. Ooh. Well, they started building it in 1400 and they right. finished it in 1450. It only took them 50 years. And as I say, it's one of the most impressive in the country because the people around here were very wealthy. They were all wool merchants. They had a lot of money and they just ploughed their money in and got it built within 50 years. And they did a fantastic job. I'm showing my naivety here because I don't know all the different parts of a church. Um, I'm learning with every church I go to. I'm guessing this is the pulpit. That is from the, 14th, the 1400s, 15th century wooden pulpit. It says it's an hourglass pulpit, so just looking at the shape of that, I'm guessing that is it. Very old for wood. The most interesting story about this church is about Geoffrey Boleyn. He helped build this church. You might recognise the name, Berlin. That was the grandfather of Anne Berlin. Anne Berlin, who was married to King Henry VIII. Now, King Henry thought that Anne Berlin was knocking around with, us, with her brother, having some kind of sex with a brother or something, which I'm struggling to believe. Do people really have sex with a brother? Did they ever do that? I know they did it on Game of Thrones, but I don't know if it actually happens in real life. But anyway, King Henry VIII said that she was knocking around with, I think he was called George, so he had her beheaded. He took off her head at the Tower of London, and the story goes that she's buried just next door to where they cut her head off, uh, just on a church green or something, and she's buried there. However, there's another story. Legend has it that Anne Boleyn's friends actually turned up and dug her body up at m midnight, brought her back here and buried her under an unmarked black stone. Now, in, inside the church, now I've had a good look round and I can only find one definite unmarked 
black stone. It's not really black, it's more grey. It's got this beautiful thing on top of it. As you can see there, that's, that's lovely. Um, but this is the only unmarked black stone I can see. So is the real Anne Boleyn under there? We'll never know, we'll never know. But I want to know. It's the kind of thing I'm interested in, is that? Now there is a ghost associated with this church. Guess whose ghost it is? Anne Boleyn. Anne, Boleyn. Anne Boleyn's <laughs> ghost is said to roam on, around here on the anniversary of the day she died. Ooh. <laughs> here you have an amazing font. Now the wooden canopy above, I do love these. I've seen a few now in, here in Norfolk. It's like a big lid and you've got, to, it's on string and you have to pull a rope to uh, get that to lift off up to do your baptisms and wet children's heads and stuff. Uh, that is from the 15th century, very nice. And underneath you can see, I think this is the bit, angels all the way around here, and they're all holding a symbol of the sacrament. I think that's what I'm looking at. And you've got these depictions here, I'm not sure what they're of. As I say, I'm not, I'm not a religious person, personally, but I am learning more and more as I'm going around Certainly interests is, uh, it certainly interests me, let's put it that way. Apparently one of the best parts of the church is the bosses on the roof. I can't see them. Well, I can see them with my eye, but I can't zoom in enough to get a picture of them. I'll try and get something on my other camera. They just look like angels with wings, they look pretty nice. Um, but until I zoom in with my other camera, I can't tell you anything about them anyway. So my last little story is about Anne Boleyn. Apparently, I'm gonna to have to just read this straight off my notes. Um, Anne was said to walk the church every year on the night of her execution, and that one year on the 19th of May, the sexton, the guy who looks after the church, um, had been keeping vigil, 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 vig he was here when a great hare, you know, like a big rabbit, a great hare appeared in the church and led him a fine chase. Um, explained the man that a hare was one of the forms that a witch was supposed to be able to turn into at will and Anne was supposed to be a witch. So did this hare which ran into this church, was that Anne Boleyn coming back as a hare because she was a witch? Or did a hare just come in the church? It was probably just a, a hare came in the church, a rabbit, a rabbit just came in, in church. Why would you think it's a, a witch's soul inside it? That's weird, that's weird. So that is Saul, St. Peter and St. Paul Church in Reapham. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one, I like it. It's got some amazing things. In fact, something I haven't shown you yet. Let me just quickly run over to these for you. Um, you've got part of the rude, or rude screen, or what, I think this is a rude screen. But you've got all these cut out. Now, these will be 14th, uh, 1400s, I'm sure. But all the faces have been scratched out during the Reformation, I guess. Many thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video. And be sure to check out my other channel, Deep Digger Dan, and my website, thetraveltroll.uk. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. But most importantly, please do donate to the charity which we're supporting in this county. All links to everything I've just mentioned are all in the description below. Please come back tomorrow as we continue our adventure to try and make the biggest video library of the sites of the UK. Goodbye.